Okay, let's talk about summer school algebra. And of course, everybody wants to go to summer school. And of course, you know, most of you out there are going to be like, oh, what are you talking about, Mr. Uh, YouTube math man? I don't want to go to summer school. It's a waste of my time. Well, listen, I've taught summer school uh, from time to time through the years. So uh, it's interesting what goes on in summer school. And uh, a lot of students, of course, coming in there because they didn't do well during uh, the regular school year. Now they got to kind of make it up uh, in summer school. So we're going to talk about some tips to pass algebra in summer school. This is a very common course uh, that people take in summer school. Now, there are times where you could take a summer school course. Uh, class to get credit if you want to move ahead. So for example, let's say you um, have completed Algebra 1 and you want to take Geometry in summer school so you can uh, start Algebra 2 in the next regular school year. Those are kind of, uh, you know, times, those are reasons why, uh, also reasons why students uh, go to summer school. But I would say the majority of reasons is because people didn't do well during the school year. And, uh, well, we got to talk about how to get you through algebra. So if you are taking summer school, uh, even if you didn't fail, but you just intend to take algebra in the summertime or a short period of time, well, then you want to pay attention to some of these tips that I'm going to offer. And we're going to get into this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you excel in your course, even in your summer school course. Now, if you're going to be taking uh, a test, and some of you... Um, We'll be taking tests after your your algebra course when you get there. If you continue on to college, you very well be, may be taking the SAT or ACT. So if you're going to be taking a test that has math on it, so that, again, SAT, ACT, uh, GED, high set task, uh, GRE, GMAT, that's more for graduate level. But maybe the ASVAB if you're going to go in the military. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, CLEP exam, if you want to go to college and get college credit. Acuplacer uh, for college, uh, that's also for college placement, okay? The CLEP exam is for college credit. So there's a ton of different type of courses or, or tests that you have to take that have math on it. And of course, things like teacher certification as well. Anyways, I can help you uh, prepare and pass those particular courses. If you homeschool, you definitely want to check out my homeschool math program. And uh, if you don't have any math notes, well, you're going to need something to study from. So I'm going to let you use my math notes. You can uh, find uh, the links to my math notes in the description of this video. But um, I've been teaching math for decades. You have to take math notes if you don't want to go to summer school. And you got to take great math notes. Okay, So if you want to be great in mathematics, you got to take great math notes. So let's get into some quick uh, tips on summer school, Okay, summer school algebra. All right, so yes, I have taught summer school algebra. Uh, multiple summers. And uh, here's the first thing you want to realize, okay, uh, is that this is going to go uh, very fast, okay? This summer, uh, this period of time that you have, it's going to be accelerated. So generally speaking, you're going to be, you know, in class, you know, maybe four hours a day, okay? So you're like, okay, yes, it's going to go fast. I'm talking about this six weeks is going to go quick, all right? So you just need to realize that you have to you know, have the right mental mindset to start this class, okay? If you're going into summer school, if you have not yet started summer school and you're like, you know that you have to take summer school, well, it's going to go quick, okay? And you just have to make up your mind that you're going to, you know, do whatever it takes to pass, okay? Because that time is going to go uh, very quick. And if you fall behind in summer school, it, it, then it becomes very difficult to kind of, uh, you know, reverse that. So that's the first thing, okay? Now, the next thing is I would say you're during that time when uh, you're going to be cramming in a year's worth of algebra in maybe like six weeks or whatnot, your, per your life is pretty much going to be a good majority of it, algebra. You just kind of have to kind of accept that. And some of you might like, oh, there's no way I'm going to let up that much uh, time in my uh, summer, you know, you know I let algebra take up that much of my life in summertime. Well, listen, uh, there's really no way getting around it if you expect to pass, okay? With, you might be able to scoot by or skate by with a C minus, but if you want to get a respectable grade, a B or an A, okay, 
you're just going to have to be in full immersion mode. So I would plan accordingly. Okay, if you have other things going on, try to plan and give yourself extra time because in your class, okay, you might be spending four hours a day in your class because think about it, you're going to be doing one year's worth of work packed into like six weeks or, or whatnot. So, you know, your teacher, you're going to be spending a lot of time with your teacher. Then you got to go home and do all this homework and study. Okay. That's going to be the, the second half of your day. So you're talking, you know, another couple more hours. So this is a full on day. And then you have you know, your weekends just so you know, okay, try to just block out that time whether it be like, you know, uh, sports things or whatnot, the best you can. Of course, you're going to have to have uh, some balance in your life. But just know that when you're taking algebra, a course like algebra, uh, especially if you didn't remember too much from the previous uh, year, okay, you're going to be in full immersion mode, right? So just be ready for it. So start planning now uh, if you, um, you know, have not yet started your course. But if you're, you know, in summer school right now and you're watching this video and you're finding this out, well, just you know, accept it as, oh, okay, yes, this is normal. So, you know, whatever time you have remaining, block things out. You're going to need that time to study because you're going to be, you know, uh, covering a lot of material. All right. So what are some other things here? Well, you're going to have to basically, you're going to have to do the, uh, do a 180. Okay. Let's just call it that way. A 180. What am I talking about that? Well, if you're going in this direction and I go 180 degrees uh, from this direction, that means I'm going in this direction, right? That's what I mean by 180. So how did you land in summer school? Well, you were doing things, okay, that you that were not good for you in terms of learning mathematics. You probably weren't taking uh, great math notes. That's probably for sure. You might have been taking notes, but they weren't great math notes. So you got to start doing the opposite, okay? So let's talk about some of those things that you should be doing. You have to take outstanding notes, okay? Write everything down, okay? That's number one. Number two, you need to ask questions. Ask questions. You may not, you probably weren't asking that many questions uh, when you were in your regular class. Maybe some questions, but you got to be like, hey, if you don't understand something, stop, raise your hand. The next thing is distractions, okay? If you are sitting nearby, I'm pretty sure if you're uh, in summer school, you were likely distracted during a regular school year, okay? Now, how could you be distracted? Well, you might have one or two of your good friends sitting nearby you, or you might have been trying to do homework in another class uh, for another class in uh, algebra. Whatever the case is, you were you're not fully focused. So you're going to have to limit those distractions going the opposite way. So if you have a friend of yours and both of you guys were talking during a regular school year, and now you're both in summer school, the worst thing you can do is to uh, sit next to one another. Now, your teacher very well is probably going to pick up on that and try to do that, but sometimes the teachers are going to let you kind of write your own destiny in summer school. There's no rule to say, hey, I'm going to force you to pass. You have to be, you know, smart enough to know, listen, I'm going to, you know, put myself, you know, on the opposite side of the classroom to limit, you know, my temptation to talk to my good buddy. It's only natural, you know, uh, to do that. So anyways, you do the right thing, because if not, if you continue to do these patterns that landed you in summer school, well, you're going to end up being in trouble. OK, so you got to take awesome notes. You got to ask questions. Uh, you got to, like, be proactive in terms of uh, distractions. And then what else do you have to do? Well, you're going to have to, the, along with the distractions, you're going to have to 10x your focus, okay? And this is really what it's about. You have to focus in. Note-taking is going to help you uh, with your uh, focus, but you have to concentrate, okay? That means you got to limit these distractions. You can't be looking out the window. You can't be looking at your, your, your watch or the clock on the wall saying, okay, oh my goodness, I want to get out of here. I understand you want this to finish, but just remember that you have this block of time with your teacher. You're going to have to really focus on getting the most out of it because when you go, uh, when you leave class and you're dealing with your homework time, you know, you don't want to be lost, okay? Because if you're lost in your homework time, you're already behind the curve, okay? All right, so what are some other things that you could do? Well, I would uh, kind of just leave you with this. You can look for online help, all right? Online help. 
uh, help if you need it. Okay, so it's great to have like a tutor, uh, whatnot. Uh, and I used to, you know, do a lot of tutoring many years ago uh, with school uh, with uh, students that were taking summer school. You know, I was also the teacher. But beyond that, you know, th this time goes pretty quickly. And this four hours that you got one teacher trying to help, you know, 20, 30 students. So you may not have enough time with your teacher to get all your questions answered. So you can uh, use online help or you can find a tutor. Now, way back in the good old days, your only options were a tutor. And I'm talking about before there was really any kind of real uh, robust online, you know, different math tools out there and systems and programs. But, um, you know, a tutor is excellent. Get support is what I'm trying to get, uh, get across to you. Don't you know, be trying to study and do your homework. If you're still lost, you are going to need to find support. So uh, you can uh, find a tutor, okay? Uh, if but that gets expensive, and this is also time limiting. But so there's a lot of great math program math programs out there. I personally think mine is one of the best. Uh, so you know, if you're taking um, obviously summer school algebra, that's what we're talking about. Maybe you're taking uh, summer school geometry and just kind of watching this program. You want to check out my uh, math help program because I have full instruction that you can control the pacing. You can get to, right to the type of problems that you need to solve, but you want to have some sort of support system because you're likely going to have more questions that you can't get all answered in class. That's why it's so important to really be paying attention while you're in class, trying to get as much information, you know, uh, and skills and understanding down. Uh, so when you do leave, that you're, you're not, you know, not lost, okay? But if you kind of keep all this in mind, all right, uh, in summer school, you're going to pass, all right? Now, the only question is, are you going to pass with a C or pass with an A? But here's my final uh, tip to you, okay? What works in summer school is going to work in your next math class, okay? So when you move on to Algebra 2 or geometry, don't in, don't quit these things that I'm talking about. Okay, just remember, yes, you do have a full academic year, but that goes pretty quickly. Okay, you'll be surprised. I mean, when you're younger, time seems to go slower. When you're older, years by years go by uh, <laughs> much much faster. But believe me, uh, you know, uh, a month can go by, two three months, and you you, know, you already have four or five chapter tests. Just know that you know that this time is going to pass quicker than you think it is. All right. So you got to stay on top of your work. All right. And, um, you know, your complete life at that point isn't going to be consumed by one course because you're going to have different courses, but you have to make the most of your study time. Okay? You got to be effective. You got to be efficient with your time and you got to do the things that make sense for you. Okay. Or make sense to be successful in math, taking great notes, asking questions, limiting uh, distractions uh, that you can control. I mean, listen, you see your buddy over there, you want to sit next to him. That's the worst thing you could do. Just separate yourself. Ask the teacher, hey, listen, can you uh, <laughs> put me in another uh, seat? Now, your teacher will probably already move you. Uh, move you. Good teachers will already see, oh, I know Billy and, uh, you know, Sarah are best friends. I'm going to separate them so they're because, you know, they're going to be talking, yada, yada, yada. So, but you try to be proactive on all, all of these things by yourself and just focus. Focus is the name of the game. And then beyond that, you know, uh, get extra uh, help, all right? Now, the first tutor you should have, all right, uh, outside of your regular class, class time is your teacher, okay? Think of your teacher as free tutoring, all right? Now, I don't know if you're familiar with how much tutors cost, but at the high school level, it's not uncommon for tutors to get $75 to even $100 plus per hour, okay? Yes, I know it's kind of crazy, but I would charge these type of rates because you're going to someone's home and you're, you know, uh, helping someone understand pre-calculus. But these are normal kind of tutoring rates uh, for the most part for great, you know, uh, tutors. These would be like high school level teachers, et cetera. But there are programs that are like mine that are very, very affordable, that are very, very powerful as well. So take a look at your whole um, range of options to you. But it's not a bad idea to have some sort of support uh, plan available, even if you don't need it at this particular time, because as soon as you run into trouble, you don't want to be trying to figure out where to get help. Okay. All right. So hopefully this video uh, will help you kind of organize your game plan so you can succeed in summer school. Just know this much uh, summer school. It's not the worst thing that's going to happen to you. Believe me. 
You just want to learn from it, okay? Do well, get your A in uh, summer school. And for some kind of crazy reason, I used to I used to enjoy uh, teaching summer school because I thought the students were pretty. They were pretty cool students. I, <laughs> for some, uh, they were very uh, charismatic, if you if you will. That's probably what landed them in summer school. But I enjoyed. Uh, I've always enjoyed uh, teaching summer school. I always thought that the students were pretty interesting. Uh, but the whole idea is, hey, don't end up do other things with your summer. Um, but if you pay attention to, and you apply some of the things I talked about here, you're not, you'll be successful in summer school algebra and your next and following math courses. So if this video, uh, this little video helped you out in some way, please go ahead and consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. So uh, please take advantage of all that and all the videos I will be doing in the future. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in summer school algebra, if that's going to be your case, but all your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.